Okay guys, Tribal Chief Jeff here and it's the day after the incredible night before. Um, first of all, your Tribal Chief is Nigerian, so of course, um, AFCON Cup of Nations beating South Africa in the semi-final. We're now in our eighth AFCON final, we've won three. So if we can win our fourth, and you know, it'll be, it's a good record to win at least half of the finals that you've been in. Um, yeah, I can't lie, that game should never have gone to penalties, but it did. And um, yeah, luckily, we were the better team in the shootout. But um, yeah, things got even better because surprisingly, Chelsea smashed Aston Villa 3-1. Um, and now we face Leeds in the, in the next round of the FA Cup. Now that game, best game we've played all season. Best game since Man City. When was the Man City game? All the way in October. Right after the Man City game, we got smashed 4-1 by Newcastle. And we've had a horrendous run. Um, now, credit where credit is due. The manager did something good for once. Um, or maybe the second or third time in his entire Chelsea career. He did something good. Um, play players in the right positions and all this rubbish, you know. Dropped Thiago Silva, which was crazy. All because Bell Silva spoke the truth. Um, yeah, great goals, man. Like, I didn't expect that at all. I was too tired, so I missed the last five minutes. I tried to stay awake. So, um, yeah, I thought the game ended 3 0. Then I woke up and it ended 3 1. They brought a goal back at the end. But, um, yeah, like, the same thing I said after the Man City game, which we didn't even win, by the way. Why can't we play like this every game? If we play like this every game, I certainly wouldn't be punched out. That guy, he can still F off for all I care, man. Bring the FA Cup if you can. Bring the Carabao Cup if you can, but you still need to go like, you're not good enough. And one thing, I will not be gaslit into this, um, how do I say, how do I say this? Like, Enzo Fernandez, he scored an incredible free kick yesterday. He won the free kick, he took it, and that celebration, pure passion. And just letting, letting people know, shut up, I'm here to stay whatever in it great free kick but let's be real man we signed this guy a year ago that's the best thing he's done that's the best thing he's done in a year of being at Chelsea man like <clears throat> why are we gonna act like the guy has been a revelation fam 100 million pounds that's the first time he's shown something that that reflects that price tag like <clears throat> And um, it's not an Enzo hating, in it? Like, it's just, it's just honestly, why can't we be honest with ourselves, man? Lots of fans like to say, oh, this guy's, these guys are not performing because of the manager, blah, blah, blah. While that can be true, like, obviously, we had Frank Lampard. We got rid of, the, of that guy. And then the same players, Tuchel made us Champions League winners for the second time in the club's history. And um, I think pretty much the first time for pretty much everyone there. <clears throat> um, like... Yeah, man managers, they really do make a difference. We're not going to deny that. But at the same time, like, the players, they are responsible. Like, we're not going to just blame Poch for everything. Yes, he, he's he's responsible. But so are the players on the pitch, man. And my thing is, when you cost as much as Enzo and Casado have cost, when you cost that much, like, it doesn't matter how good the team is. It doesn't matter how bad the team is, rather. It doesn't matter how bad the team is. It doesn't matter how bad the manager is. When you cost that much, there are heavy expectations and you've got to be able to show the quality multiple times, man. Like, we've paid so much for it. It's not the only guys we've paid so much for. We paid 60 million for Mudrick. We paid um, however much we paid for Sterling. Like, you know, we, we've bought all these guys. They ain't really done much, man. Though. They've all been rubbish. Honestly, they've all been rubbish. I don't know... I don't know why why fans have such a hard time just to like admitting the truth, man. Like, man, Enzo Fernandez, this guy, he's been so underwhelming that rival fans. This is the first time Fernandez has had a great game or a good game, and fans are not like, ah, oh, he must be playing a championship side on the timeline, fam. Like, it says a lot, man. Like, when you pay a certain price, when you're paying three figures for guys, you like you should expect a lot more, man. Like these men just haven't lived up to the to the price tag. A lot of players haven't lived up to the price tag. Like the whole team, if we're looking at the best performance this season, the best performance this season, Petrovic is probably number one, you know. And this guy didn't even start playing football until um, when did he start playing football? When Sanchez got injured, <laughs> and uh, when was that? Now was that 
his first game was in November or December. Like, says a lot, man. When when your best player is your goalkeeper, like, your goalkeeper should never be the best player on your team. So when your goalkeeper is the best player on your team, like, it just says a lot. Like, look at my United all them years ago when David De Gea was the best player in, on their team. That's a goalkeeper, man. Like, not good enough. Man, I need a trim, bro. But... Yeah, I can't even pick a top three if I'm being real. I actually can't, fam. All I know is that Petrovic is number one, fam, player of the season. Um, Malo is probably second, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm actually trying to think. I'm trying to think. Gusto's probably second. And number three. I don't know, man. I don't know. Do I say Gallagher? No, see, how can I forget about Cole Palmer? So, I'll see, yeah. So, Palmer probably number one. Petrovic two. Gusto third. Or Gusto second, Petrovic third, whichever. Um, Gusto probably loses a bit of ratings for giving away that penalty against Wolves, man. But either way, like, our best players this season, two of them play in defensive positions. Or or positions, rather, where goal goal scoring is not really the focus. But yeah, that game, great game. It's a shame we don't play like that. It really is a shame we don't play like that every season, man. Pochettino still needs to go at the end of the season because this guy is an embarrassment. He's been an embarrassment and one great game. The best game we've played all season. Like the fact and the fact that like it's so easy. Like, you know, normally if you're having a good season, it's tough to say which is your best game of the season. Normally you have a couple contenders, but this is outright our best game of the season. And it's taken all the way till February for us to like play so good we had that one you know what maybe you could say we had a good opening game against Liverpool but we didn't win that anyways Man City it was our best game of the season and we didn't win that up until last night last night best game of the season by far and um, you would hope that this stuff you know spurs us on to go and you know continue winning I don't know if that's going to happen I'm still potch out regardless like this game doesn't make me forget the entire season. Same with all these players. This one great game doesn't erase everything. It's been a horrendous season regardless. And man's just not... I'm not being negative for the sake of being negative. I'm not trying to force it. Like, I can't force it. Man's just a small account still. So, like, I ain't even got 200 subs yet. Man can't force the negativity. I can't force it. I'm just being real. This is what I think. And it's, it's just the truth. It's the harsh reality. Like... We gotta be honest with our, with ourselves, man. Just because we love certain men, it doesn't mean that we sh- that we that we should like. It doesn't mean that they should be devoid of criticism. Like, fam, this this whole team, bro. Like, fam, it's been we've been rubbish all season. This is like it's a surprise. Like, it's it's a surprise that we played this well. And I didn't even see the first half. I was busy, so I only saw the second half. And um, yeah, man, like. It's just a shame that, that we, we can't play like this all the time. I had to catch the extended highlights when Chelsea released them just to see. But, yeah, man, good, nice win. Credit where credit is due, of course. But this, don't let this result gaslight you. Don't let this result fool you into thinking that things are solidly fine again. Like This, this is the type of shit that, fam, like... We've seen it with my United fans this season. Like, come on, man. Like, we shouldn't be, we should, we shouldn't be, you know, we shouldn't be falling into that trap. It's a good win. Very good win. Of course, I'm happy. Even like, even though I still want the manager gone. Obviously, um, a performance like this just prolongs his stay. But obviously, if, if we're going to perform like this, this is what we want to see. This is what we want to see, man. Um, yeah, Leeds, Leeds is, is next. Like I said, I believe that's, um, I believe it said 28th of February, the last Wednesday of the month. Um, I think we're at home as well. <sighs> Leeds, yes, it's a big game. I know, like, historically, Leeds and Chelsea have some kind of rivalry, but where are them guys? I think they're in the championship. It's, we should be winning that game regardless. We should be going to the... Um, is it the quarterfinals after that or whatever? Should we, get, we should be getting the win regardless, man. Um, yeah, great win last night. Don't really have much more to say, to be honest. Um, next game is Crystal Palace. We always beat Crystal Palace, so yeah, that's that's a given W. And then hopefully we can use that to build. I believe after Crystal Palace, we got Spurs. And then we got Man City. And then, you know, we got Liverpool. I'll be real. 
don't expect wins. I don't. I think Spurs will be us. Posh will probably love it deep down anyways. Man City, definitely going to beat us. I want that as well anyways, man. Can't have Liverpool winning the Premier League. One them guys. And we're just not good enough regardless. We'll probably go and give them a fight, but at the A-head, don't, I don't see us. We'll probably get smoked, to be honest, man. We'll see, though. We'll see. But, um, yeah, the only exciting game at the moment is the Carabao Cup final. Um yeah, probably we we just saw what happened when we faced Liverpool the the other week. So yeah, man, we we'll probably get hammered again. But it's a cup final. Chelsea, when it comes to cup games, you always see a different Chelsea when it comes to cup games. It's nice to see. It was nice to see yesterday that that Chelsea in cup games is not dead. But I'm gonna end it there. There's not really much more to say. I most certainly need a haircut. I think I'm going to get that one tomorrow still, man. Beard's looking all messy. This rubbish beard that doesn't really grow any further than this. Going to try and get a different haircut. But, yeah, man, it's been a Tribal Chief. Like and subscribe. Acknowledge me. Till next time.